If you thought we knew very little about the ocean, something we can visit quite easily, then just think about how very little we know about life outside Earth. Every time we use our technology to explore space, we learn something new that ends up being quite mind-blowing. From hearing music on the moon to a face on Mars, here are 20 creepiest things seen by astronauts in space. Number 20. Fireflies Seeing tiny flies buzzing around here on Earth is no big deal. We've got a whole lot of annoying insects that like to get up in our faces. But to see insect-like creatures while you're floating outside of Earth? Now that's creepy. John Glenn was an astronaut and U.S. Senator who died at the ripe old age of 95 in 2016. He was a member of the Mercury 7 crew who were test pilots and became astronauts as they made a low Earth orbit trip inside the Friendship 7 space capsule. John became the first American to orbit the planet for an extended period of time and circled the globe three times in five hours before safely touching down in the Atlantic Ocean near Bermuda. During his trip, John reported seeing what looked like fireflies, which Mission Control worried might be the heat shield of the capsule disintegrating, potentially making him the first man to die in space. However, John described them as a mass of small particles lit up like they're luminescent. He said he had never seen anything like it and that they looked like a whole shower of tiny stars. He also said that they would swirl around the capsule, go in front of the window, and travel at a different motion and speed to the capsule. NASA scientists believe the firefly-like critters were just frost flakes that had accumulated on the capsule. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now, it's time for the star topic. Did you know that some people think NASA astronauts have been abducted by aliens, and that some were able to escape but aren't allowed to talk about their experiences? It sounds absurd, but when a NASA astronaut returns with chilling information about Earth, they end up being entirely believable because of this photo. It shows an astronaut in a spacesuit with alien-like creatures holding them down. It looks absolutely terrifying, and it appears that the astronaut has limited vision to see what's going on. Do you think this actually happened? What are the circumstances around this picture? Comment down below with the hashtag StarTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. Alien City in the Moon do you know much about the dark side of the moon? Uh, no, I'm not talking about the studio album by Pink Floyd. I'm talking about the far side of the moon that faces away from us that we only see about 18% of every so often. Well, some people think that given we can't see this part of the moon, it's where aliens have built their civilization with cities and structures of all sorts. Now, conspiracy theorists haven't just pulled this idea out of nowhere. They've taken a look at photos released by NASA and identified square-shaped rocks that do look a bit like structures that might have been abandoned several million years ago. One conspiracy theorist said that some objects on this dark side of the moon appear to be reflective but have dark black areas and right angles that appear to be structures. They also believed that some objects had openings that allowed ships to come and go, along with white reflective roofs. There was even mention of some ships being stuck halfway out of these buildings, almost like something stopped them from leaving entirely. Or they could just be square-shaped rocks and blurry footage since the photos are literally being taken in space. Number 18. Alien Walking on the Moon the Apollo 15 or Apollo 17 might have picked up something interesting on their accrued missions to the moon in 1971 and 1972, but no one may have known about it until a YouTuber by the name of Wow For Real posted a video showing a supposed alien figure walking on the moon. The figure can be seen on Google Moon at specific coordinates, and it really looks like a dark, shadowy, alien-like figure casually waltzing along the lunar surface. I mean, we can't really say that it's not, because just look at it. However, Deputy Project Scientist for the Lunar Renaissance Orbiter, Noah Petro, was quick to dispel any rumors that aliens were casually navigating the moon going about their day. He said that the picture was taken on either Apollo 15 or 17, and that you can't see any lunar features that could cause that pattern on the ground. His best guess was that it was something on the film, like a scratch, eyelash, or dust on the negative. 
He also reminded people that the footage was captured before digital film, which means all sorts of nasty things can happen to the film. And we probably see that dust, dirt, or whatever it is as a small alien because of pareidolia, seeing something in everyday items. Number 17. A Spoon on Mars do aliens love cereal? It sure seems that way when, in NASA footage, people have discovered what appears to be a perfectly formed spoon ideal for soup, cereal, or stirring a cup of tea. Interestingly, the utensil has a long, slender handle, a bowl-like end, and it appears to be floating or teetering on the edge of a rock due to the shadowing present underneath it. Apparently, this isn't even the first spoon-like shape to be discovered on the Red Planet. People have also highlighted the outlines of another spoon-like shape, as well as rings, and even gloves. Some people believe the spoon was real and was left behind by a lost civilization. Wow, they would have been annoyed to get to their new destination just to realize they've left behind their utensils. Although, most people take a more sensible approach and say it's obviously a regular rock that's experienced millions of years of wind erosion. The cold probably doesn't help either, since the temperature there averages around negative 81 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 63 degrees Celsius. It's actually not uncommon to spot familiar items in seemingly ordinary rocks. It's known as pareidolia, which involves assigning typical characteristics to random random objects. You know, like the lady who saw Jesus in her cheese toast. Number 16. Hearing Music on the Moon You know in Bruno Mars' song where he said he's talking to the moon? Well, do you think he might actually be singing to it? Because some claims have been made about hearing music on the moon. When Apollo 10 astronauts were circling the moon in 1969, just months before the first astronauts actually stepped foot on it, they reported hearing strange whistling noises that went on for about an hour. Yeah, it sounds like, uh, you know, outer space type music. They had the foresight to record it, and it was transmitted to Mission Control in Houston. A transcript of the text surrounding that strange situation was released to the public in 2008 but we didn't actually hear the audio until around 2016 for some unknown reason. The three astronauts, John Young, Eugene Cernan, and Thomas Stafford, described it as being outer space type music and said it was so strange that they debated even telling NASA chiefs. They were worried no one would take them seriously and that they'd not be considered for future space missions. According to NASA, there was no way those sounds were alien music. So hold up, you're telling me there aren't any little green men playing disc jockey? U.S. space agency engineers believe the noises probably came from interference caused by the command module and lunar module radios being too close together. Number 15. Orbs Fly Past Space Shuttle in 2006, the Atlanta Space Shuttle was on a normal mission to the International Space Station with half a dozen astronauts and a load of spare parts for the space station. It seemed ordinary, and likely was, but the astronauts on board that space shuttle believed they saw something that wasn't ordinary, even if their team on the ground was quick to dismiss it. YouTube footage showed three orbs moving slowly around the Atlantis, and the astronauts described their findings to the ground control commentator on the live public feed with NASA. The ground crew says they're just reflecting on the camera lens, but one of the crew members says it's a structure that's not rigid and doesn't look like anything they've seen outside of the shuttle. The astronaut describes the orbs as fast and quickly moving to the nose of the orbiter by at least 100 feet. The camera also shows three orbs hovering in a triangular formation near the shuttle. To say they're just a camera reflection isn't all that convincing if you ask me, and it appears the astronauts aren't convinced either. Number 14. Metal Objects on Mars When you think of Mars, you picture red, dust, maybe a few hills, then more red and more dust. It's just a big, red, dusty planet and probably quite dull to explore. But every now and then, Mars rovers find something quite interesting, which happened in 2013. At the end of January of that year, the Curiosity rover took photos of Mars with its mast cam cameras, which showed a large, shiny, horn-like item that took up about 35 pixels in the photo frame. Alien Universe Images spokesperson Elisabetta Bonora worked out the math so that we don't have to and believed it was up to a foot tall. This calculation was based on the 150 microns per pixel resolution at a 2 meter distance. The reason why this horn-like thing stands out is that it's a different color from everything else. It appears to be metal-like, shiny, and not even dusty or red like everything else. Some people think it might be iron from a meteorite, but then you might wonder why it hasn't rusted. Well, Mars has low levels of 
oxygen, which means rust may not occur. So the metal theory would make sense. Number 13. An alien base on Venus. Have you noticed that Mars gets all the attention? When we're not talking about the climate crisis on our own planet, we're talking about our exploratory trips to the red planet. Well, it's not all about Mars. Sometimes it's about Venus. And boy, do we have a story to tell about that planet. Venus is the second planet from the Sun and rotates in the opposite direction to Earth and most of the other planets. It also turns very slowly, which means each day is longer than its actual year. Venus is also incredibly hot at up to around 900 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's not exactly habitable. At least not by us, but some people believe it might be inhabited by other beings. UFO hunters have claimed that satellite images of Venus show massive cities and artificial structures that may be inhabited by aliens who can live in the challenging and hot conditions of the planet. The photos were taken by the Magellan probe that visited the planet on an information-gathering mission for NASA in 1989. There was even a documentary about the supposed civilization, with the narrator saying you don't hear a lot about Venus, and it's a planet that they believe is shrouded in secrecy for a reason. Number 12. Bones on Mars Mars just has rocks, sand, and dusty stuff, right? So how plausible would it be to find a femur bone there? Very, very unlikely, but that's what some people believe they saw in newly published photos of Mars that NASA's Curiosity rover took back in 2014. At first, all you see in the photo is some rocks buried in dust, which isn't very exciting at all. But the stones aren't what got people fired up, it's the weird, bone-shaped thing in the background. It looks very much like a femur bone from a thigh, and because it's not quite straight and not quite human-like, it has people thinking it might be part of an alien leg. That's quite the stretch, and NASA's science team members were quick to set the record straight. They said that, yes, it is an odd-shaped item, but it's a rock. They said it was shaped that way through wind or water. They also went on to say that if life ever did exist on Mars, it would be small and simple life forms, such as microbes, rather than large, complex organisms like humans. So calm down, guys. It's just a rock. Number 11. The Great Void. No matter where we are in the cosmos, the night sky will look the same. Now, of course, the galaxies and stars mean it's not exactly the same, but it's generally the same density in one place as it is hundreds of light years away in another place. This is an assumption known as the Copernican Principle. With this principle, astronomers predicted that elusive dark energy exists that accelerates the galaxies away from each other and expands the universe. A 2008 publication by Timothy Clifton at the University of Oxford in the UK suggested that we might exist in a unique part of space where the space-time is different and the passage of light is influenced in another way. Studies have also shown that Earth and our parent galaxy are in a cosmic desert devoid of other planets stars, and galaxies. The Copernican Principle was always just an assumption and should be scrutinized. And while this new publication is also just speculative, it does make a lot of people curious to think that what we know about where we are may not be that accurate. Number 10. Strange Lights a Russian cosmonaut on the International Space Station certainly did return to Earth with some chilling information. Ivan Wagner had been exploring ways to improve Earth photography techniques when he captured a time-lapse video that showed the Aurora Australia moving between the Antarctic and Australia. At the time, he was working on the International Space Station with Anatoly Ivanishin from Russia and American commander Chris Cassidy. When he posted the video to Twitter, he made an interesting comment, saying, In the video, you'll see something else, not only the Aurora. And that certainly piqued people's curiosity. At around the 9 to 12 second mark of the video, you see five objects flying next to each other, the same distance apart. He wrote, What do you think those are? Meteors? Satellites? Or... The five objects were bright and appeared in a straight line above the Earth's curve in the sky. NASA hasn't made any public comments about the video, but the Russian space agency retweeted it with a caption saying that the video was interesting and mysterious. Ivan apparently sent the video to experts like the Space Research Institute for analysis. And uh, that's all, folks. We don't know what those lights are and whether they were aliens, meteors, satellites, or something else. Number 9. A Space Snake 
NASA has always remained tight-lipped about what they believe is out in space. Anytime we've spotted something out of the ordinary, they've been quick to say it's just a camera trick, a rock, a rock, and another rock. Oh, and a shadow, or a trick of the light. But what if an astronaut came back down to Earth with chilling information about what they've seen? Who should you believe, NASA or an astronaut who's seen things firsthand? Let's take a moment to talk about Franklin Story Musgrave. Franklin is a retired NASA astronaut and American physician. He has seven academic degrees, making him the most formally educated astronaut, and he's also the only astronaut to have flown on all five space shuttles. But Franklin is known for other reasons. He claims to have seen a snake floating in Earth's atmosphere. When he was interviewed in 1995 on the sightings, Franklin said he still doesn't have answers for things he saw on two of his missions. He described seeing a snake of at least six, seven, or eight feet long that was rubbery and followed him for an extended period. Franklin also said that the more you fly in space, the more you see an incredible amount of things out there that bring certainty about other living creatures being out there. Now, here's the real spooky thing he said. Some incredibly primitive, more primitive, some just proteins coming together, amino acids, and some just single cell organisms and other civilizations that have been around for a million years that are doing unimaginable kinds of things. When he spoke to Omni Magazine, Franklin mentioned the eel or snake again, but this time said it might be an uncritical rubber seal from one of the main engines. Number 8. Eye of Sauron The Eye of Sauron was a symbol most well associated in recent years with Lord of the Rings. It's a symbol that really does look like an eye, which is probably why a young star in the southern hemisphere gets called the Eye of Sauron. It, too, looks like an eye. That star is called Fomalout, and it's located within the Piscis Austrinus constellation. At least one planet orbits it, which people referred to as a zombie planet when NASA debunked the planet's existence as gas in 2005, before confirming it was a planet in 2012. You hear that, Jupiter? Even a zombie planet can be a planet. Astronomers have actually been mesmerized by the strange orbit of this planet, while also curious about why such a vast number of comets are gathered around the star. The positioning of the star, the planets, and all the comets make it look like an eye. Fomalout is also pretty young compared to other planets and places. It's thought to be about 440 million years old or thereabouts, while the Earth's sun is about four and a half billion years old. Number 7. A Face on Mars In 1998, Viking 1 became the very first spacecraft to travel to Mars and land safely on it. It was a momentous occasion, but it was also an occasion that people remember for another reason. When the first images were sent back from Mars, all people could spot in them was a human face in the dust. Newspapers ran with it with headlines like Monkey Face on Mars, and it even inspired books like The Monument on Mars written by Richard Hoaglands. In this book, Richard claims to see a whole city laid out on Mars based on the photos. That certainly wasn't what NASA was aiming for. Sure, people all of a sudden showed an interest in possible life on other planets, but the photos made people believe that there were advanced life forms on Mars. According to Smithsonian geologist John Grant, there was a misconception about the type of life scientists were actually trying to discover on Mars. They were looking for simple life, such as microbes, rather than more complex ones capable of carving faces into rocks like aliens. But just to be sure, and to lay the rumor to bed, high-resolution photos of the same area were taken in 1998 and 2001, which showed that the face on Mars was just a trick of the eye and the light hitting in all the right places. Number 6. Cigar-Shaped Object in late 2017, a strange interstellar object passed through our solar system, confuddling scientists and leading to a whole heap of question marks. It was called Aumuamua and didn't have a tail or cloud of ice and dust to suggest it was a comet, nor was it thought to be an asteroid. So what was it, and how was it moving the way it was? Quite a while later, scientists think that actually, yes, it was a comet. A team of researchers led by Dr. Marco Michelli studied the cigar thingy and said the sun's heat on its icy surface accounted for its acceleration through the solar system. They said that comets have both rock and ice, with ice forming behind the ice line where it's still cold enough to stay frozen. In contrast, asteroids are rocky things that orbit between Mars and Jupiter in a belt. Aumuamua appears to be a bit in the middle of both, and the distinction 
isn't really all that clear. According to London Natural History Museum professor Sarah Russell, there's a blurry line between asteroids and comets as we're starting to see comet-like objects in the main asteroid belt. So we've got a lot to learn from Aumuamua, it seems. It was seen from telescopes for about two and a half months after it was first noticed and was last spotted in early 2018 by the Earth-orbiting Hubble Space Telescope. Number 5. Knock at the Door on October 15, 2003, astronaut Yang Liwei was successfully launched into space on board the Shanzhou 5. That day, China became the third country to send people into space solo after the United States and the former Soviet Union. But it seems there's no way to escape people even when you're 343 kilometers or 213 miles from the ground because Yang heard a strange knocking sound almost like someone was knocking on the Shenzhou 5 door. He also occasionally heard a voice, which, if you listen close enough, sounds like someone saying, I'm here to talk about your car's extended warranty. Yang was so curious about the sounds he was hearing that he lay on the porthole to listen, watch, and find out where the noise was coming from. He found nothing at all, and there were no problems with his spacecraft, fortunately. When he described the sounds after his trip, he said it sounded like a wooden hammer hitting an iron barrel, like boom, boom, boom. Boom! Experts wondered whether he really did hear a voice or if he was hallucinating. Technicians tried to simulate it based on Yang's description, but it never quite worked out. Yang wasn't the only one to hear strange sounds in space, as you learned earlier regarding the strange space music. It sounds like there are some rowdy space teenagers out there playing music and playing Ding Dong Ditch. Number 4. A Human Skull it seems that even the solar system gets in the Halloween spirit. On October 31st, 2015, a 600 meter wide asteroid with frightening similarities to a human skull rushed past Earth. It was named the Halloween Asteroid, or 2015 TB145 if you want to be boring about it, but most people just call it the Skull Asteroid. It has two craters that look like dark, shadowy eye sockets sitting about 100 meters across from each other, and even has a dark, gray, ominous look about it with how it looks similar to dark, carbonaceous meteorites. NASA captured a few different shots of the Skull Asteroid, which they called the Great Pumpkin, and even said it got within 500,000 kilometers of Earth. This basically meant that it wasn't a threat to us, even if it looked like it was. After that initial sighting, we actually captured another glimpse of it a few years later at a distance of about 40 million kilometers. This time, it was only seen as a fleck of light rather than a skull. Number 3. Highest Electric Current why are we paying so much for electricity when the universe has given it away for free? It seems unfair. In 2011, Philip Kronberg from Canada's University of Toronto and his colleagues were able to measure the alignment of radio waves surrounding the 3C303 galaxy. This galaxy has a massive cosmic jet shooting out from its core, located about 2 billion light years away from us. The researchers noticed that there was a sudden change in the alignment of the radio waves coinciding with the jets, which allowed them to measure the highest electric current ever seen. It was 10 to the 18th power amps, which is the equivalent of about 1 trillion bolts of lightning. You've probably noticed how much damage one bolt of lightning can do, so imagine a trillion of them. The researchers think that there's a colossal black hole at the core of the galaxy with magnetic fields that are producing the current. When they measured it, it was powerful enough to light up the jet and have it travel through interstellar gases for a distance of approximately 150,000 light years. Number 2. Dark Flow Astronomers must never get bored in their jobs. It seems like they're always discovering something new and exciting, like the time they found what they called dark flow in 2008. Astronomers noticed that some patches of matter in our universe were moving at high speeds and in a strange uniform direction that they couldn't explain with the gravitational forces we currently know about. They decided to call it dark flow and believe that whatever is pulling the matter must be outside our observable universe. And by outside of our observable universe, we mean beyond what our eyes and telescopes can see. No matter how advanced our tools get, some parts of the universe are so far away that we'll never see further than the distance light can travel. In saying that, scientists have some theories about what is moving these tiny, weird clusters. They believe it's something to do with inflation and that the structures responsible for the movements have been pushed hundreds of billions of light years away by inflation. Number 1. Mysterious UFO Report 
The government has always remained pretty tight-lipped on what it really thinks about UFOs. I mean, we're given the odd tidbit of information, but nothing conclusive about whether UFOs are real. Well, in 2021, the US government created a report on unidentified aerial phenomena that looked into all the sightings and video recordings in recent years from the fighter aircraft instruments and pilot sightings. They were things like objects traveling at impossible speeds and performing maneuvers that no one had ever seen before. The report pretty much said that foreign technologies were probably to blame for most of them, but UFO sightings from the 1950s and 1960s would be when such technology couldn't be picked up or didn't exist at the time. And if it was foreign technology, then why haven't we seen those very same objects in testing or operation since then? The report doesn't convince some people, because the government says they've ruled out extraterrestrial technology, yet say the things we've been able to monitor and capture are impossible to replicate with our own technology. So if not UFOs, then what? Well, some of the things we see really could be UFOs, but there are also some pretty natural explanations for a lot of things. Although most people are probably happy to believe that there's some form of intelligent life out there just like us. Astronauts have one of the coolest jobs, getting to explore something that most of us will never get a chance to see for ourselves. Well, unless we ruin Earth and have to move to Mars, of course. What is the most plausible theory you've heard about life outside of Earth? Do you think there's more to life than just us and our planet? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.